What's going on everybody? Wacko Backo here and hopefully you guys had a great week. We're going to end this week off with some good old Champions Path here. I do have 10 packs of Champions Path. I'm super excited to go through these. Um, I think I, I don't know if I remember correctly, I think I pulled these all from the uh, the uh, Hatrina or the Hatterim, uh, the, the V-Box there. Um, I don't know. I, I've got random packs everywhere. I got all kinds of stuff behind me. So yeah, I just thought I'd pull a bunch of these and we'll try our luck here. Hopefully we can get some good pulls today, especially because I still need uh, just a few more cards in this set. Um, but obviously, I think the big one that I'm looking for here is that absolutely beautiful rainbow rare Charizard. Uh, and since I'm looking for that, I'm going to break out the very nice sleeves here. Uh, these Charizard VMAX sleeves I got from the uh, Japanese Amazon store. Um, they sold out immediately when I originally picked them up. And uh, I haven't seen them available since, but I do have a whole nother set uh, just in case and just for, you know, my own little collection purposes. So, yeah, without further ado, let's crack right into this here. Start by giving away, I'm just going to give away this one to start us off with. Very nice code. So there we go. Best of luck to whoever gets that one. And let's get rolling here. Um, yeah, so uh, I know I mentioned in the past that I was going to lay down the Champion's Path playmat. Um, but it's a lot bigger playmat than the one that I'm using here. Um, and it's kind of hard to get a, a good camera angle without this thing being like all the way zoomed up. And yeah, it's just kind of awkward. So uh, if I can figure out a way to, to make it look good, I'll definitely use that in the future. Um, but uh, yeah, let's just crack right into this here. So we're starting off with that suspicious food tin. We got Pokemon Center Lady, aka Nurse Joy. We have Victini. <laughs> we have a Zigzagoon. We have Trubbish, we have that Full Heal, a Sizzlepede, Purloin, a Hatrim, so that, that's the correct name, there we go, Hatrim as the reverse, and behind that, a Scrafty Holographic, very nice, all right. And again, for those of you that aren't familiar with Champion's Path, which if you're into the Pokemon community, you have to know about Champion's Path, um, there's a Hollow or higher in every single pack here. So uh, hopefully we can get some of those higher ones. Actually, hold on one second, just even one sec. I'm gonna try and adjust this lighting just a little bit here. All right, you guys have to let me know if that looks any better. Uh, yeah, kind of, I guess, I don't know. I usually have a couple different lights on uh, just to try to get as best lighting as I can. And I have a big sliding glass door next to me that I open the blinds on for that, so. You guys have to let me know what you think of the lighting and uh, sound quality. Obviously, those are always important. Um, I do get a lot of comments that the uh, the actual video itself is nice and clear, um, which is good because I'm literally using like the $10 Amazon Basics tripod and my phone. Um, so yeah, I'll gladly take it. All right, so let's see what we can get out of this one here. Get all the trainers out of the way. We have Ekans, a Potion, Vulpix, NK, a Pokeball, very nice, very nice. Steel Energy is the reverse hollow. First time seeing this one, so I'm glad to add that to the binder. And what's behind that? Nice, Dreadnought V, okay, so I'll take a two piece. Definitely take that, very, very nice. All right, let me get those sleeved up. At least that energy, I'm gonna put it in one of these regular sleeves here, one of the perfect fit ones. Um, yeah, very nice. And then Dreadnought, you know, uh, yeah, I'll throw you in one of the nice sleeves, why not? <clears throat> All right, so here we go here. And again, here's that sleeve. I, I absolutely love these sleeves. Uh, I'm still on the search for the Blastoise ones, uh, especially because I know they're, <laughs> they'll eventually do a Blastoise V and a Blastoise V Max. Um, but yeah, I definitely want to get my hands on some of those sleeves because they're going to look absolutely amazing. Ooh, that glare is crazy with that card. All right, let's just move you. There we go. That, that'll work, right? Yeah, you guys have to let me know if that's okay there. And then, um, goodness, I'm all over the place here. It's all right. All right, there we go. Good old OCD kicking in right there. All right, on to the next pack of Champions Pass. I'll probably move this stuff on the five or six more times throughout this opening. Uh, it's just how I am. All right, let's take a look and see what we're going to get in this one. Um, so, yeah, like I said, I'm looking for that Charizard Rainbow Rare. Um I'm looking for a couple more of those reverse hollow energies. And then uh, I think I'm still missing the Kaboo Rainbow Rare as well. Um, but yeah, almost done. Oh my goodness, nice. Absolutely amazing. So I hadn't pulled any. B 
before, and now I just pulled two in a row, and let's see what's behind that. A Lycanroc Hollow, very, very nice. All right, so put that off to the side here. Let me sleeve up this energy. Awesome. Glad to see that I finally pulled one, and then I get a duplicate right after. I just, I love the way these look. I think they did an absolutely amazing job here, and I uh, can't wait to see more uh, reverse hollow energies in the future. All right, move those off to the side here. Another pack of Champions Path. Um, yeah, I really, really like this set here. Um, I think they did a really good job with it. They put plenty of great cards in it. And, uh, you know, for a subset, um, I, I think it's uh, it's still going to hold its value later on down the road. Uh, if you look at stuff like, uh, like Shining Legends, which, I mean, when it first came out, yeah, it was pretty popular. Uh, and then it kind of just disappeared for a little bit. And then it revamped like three years later. And everyone was like so hooked on, you know, Shining Legends again. Um, but <clears throat> I see that happen with this one too, especially when it kind of gets out of the limelight a little bit. It's going to gain popularity again. And then people are going to get back into it. Suspicious Food Tin has the reverse. And behind that, a Scorch Hollow. Very nice. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's, I just, I don't know, it's just how I see it. Same thing if you look at sets like Dragon Majesty. Uh, pretty much any subset, uh, you know, from Sun and Moon, even some of the X and Y subsets, um, they just, I don't know. I feel like they're popular when they first drop. Uh, hopefully that glare is not too bad there. Um, and then, you know, obviously they kind of lose a little bit of the hype. Um, but I think once they become like out of print and they just become more like in demand or people realize like how amazing the sets were, um, they kind of just get back into the limelight again. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you look into it that much or if you're just like, hey, look, buddy, we just keep up with whatever the current set is and let's leave it at that. Um, I, I do plenty of research and I look at stuff and just kind of look at how the trends go. Um, so you kind of predict how stuff's going to go, especially uh, as they release Japanese sets and they come over to the English side of the house. All right, so let's see what we can get in this one here. We have the happiest bag of trash I've ever seen in my life. Uh, Hatina, we have NK, Weedle, a Lanoon, Nicket as the reverse, and behind that, a Zygarde. All right. I think I might start slow pulling some of these just to kind of mess with myself. Uh, and, and you guys, of course, I think it's kind of fun. Um, but usually, you know, as I pull that last card, I kind of just, just speed pull it. Um, but, you know, we'll do it with this one. Just, just, just to see how our luck is here. Probably won't get anything, but uh, let's try it out here. So four to the front. Let's go through this one a little bit slower here. So we got that grass slash leaf energy there. We have Team Yell Grunt. We have Victini. We have Arbok, which looks absolutely amazing. If only Jesse was around, right? <laughs> we have Pokeball. We have NK. We have Galarian Zigzagoon. Again, the happiest bag of trash. A full heal. NK as the reverse, and what are we going to get here? A Machamp Hollow. Very, very nice. So, nothing too crazy, but uh, great artwork there from good old Machamp. I wonder who would win in a fight, Machamp or Goro from Mortal Kombat? Let me know in the comments. Uh, I can only imagine how that crossover event would go, right? Okay, another Champion's Path. Yeah, the stuff that just comes to my head every once in a while, it's, uh, yeah, you guys get a little bit of a preview of what's going on upstairs. Uh, here we go. Another four to the front and the flip. All right, here we go. Let's see what we get here. So we have Arbok. We have Hop. We have that Rotom phone. I'm so tired of Rotom. Just Pokemon Company, please stop printing Rotom. You can put so many other cards in those slots. Uh, and it doesn't help that there's like 40 different variants of Rotom. Zigzagoon. Nice. Very, very nice. Another reverse energy there. We got that lightning energy. Looks like a gold card itself, and I'll gladly take it. And behind that... Ooh, very nice. Let's go. So this is one of the ones I was missing. Gardevoir VMAX there. Very, very nice. Oh my, there's so much going on in this card. And it just, I love the shine on it. And then just like all the different lines and textures on it. Absolutely gorgeous. So nice. Very, very nice. There we go. So we chipped another one off the list. I need the Rainbow Rare variant of that as well. Um, but yeah, I'll gladly take it. I think the other Rainbow Rare I need is Dreadnought. Um... But uh, yeah, that's that's absolutely sick. Let me get this in one of these other sleeves here. I like to double sleeve some of these, the higher end cards here. Um, I don't know, just kind of became like a, a habit of mine to do once I started getting these perfect fit sleeves. 
Oh, nice, very, very nice. All right, so move this off to the side here, get this out of the way. Okay, yeah, so we're looking really good so far. Um, got a couple cards I didn't have before. Uh, hopefully that glare's not too much. Yeah, that's a little annoying there. Let me sh shuffle. See, this is what I'm talking about. Like, when I had the sliding glass door open, like, I like all the natural light, but I always forget about the glare coming in. So, all right, uh, three packs to go, including this one here. Uh, definitely some great pulls so far. I'm really hoping that we can pull just one more pull. That's all I'm looking for, just one more. But if not, you know what? I had a great time going through this here. It's a great way to end the week. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed as well. Um, again, uh, definitely leave some likes and some comments on these videos. And if you haven't uh, subscribed to the channel yet, I highly recommend it. All right, let's see what we can get in this one here. A Victini as the reverse. Very, very nice. And behind that... A Lycanroc Hollow, very, very nice. I'll gladly take that. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so looking into next week, like I said, we have some great stuff coming up. Um, have some really cool uh, Vivid Voltage stuff to open up. Um, if you guys really enjoy my mail day videos, you're really gonna like this next one here. I'm not gonna tell you what's coming in. You guys have to stay tuned and check it out. But uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think you guys are really gonna like it. Uh, hopefully if it all comes in this, this week, and by the way. Um, but, uh, if not, I'll, I'll hold on to it till I get every bit of it in and then we'll go through and make it a really awesome mail day. All right. So here we go. We got Arbok, we have bead, we have Machoke, Kakuna, we have a Pokeball and Machop, Hatina, a full heal, Machop again, but as the reverse and behind that, Professor's Research. Very, very nice. All right. We have one more pack to go. You guys think there's anything left in here? Uh, I hope so. Uh, if not, like I said, I've had a great time opening this stuff up. We've pulled a lot of great cards so far, and I was able to uh, <coughs> chip off a card off of the must-pull list. So, all right, here we go. Last pack. Let's see if there's anything left in here. Another code for you. Oop, hold on. <coughs> Before we get into that, I forgot I have all these codes sitting off to the side. I, I really do apologize. Usually by the time I get to the end of the video, I look over and I'm like, oh, there's all these cards to give away, or all these code cards to give away. So there we go there. Okay, back to what I was doing here. Did I? No. Okay, so one, two, three, and four to the front. Yeah, okay, good. All right, so here we go. Last pack. Let's see what we can get here. We have Arbok. We have Hop. Piers. Scraggy struggling to pull up his pants. We have Rock Rough, just kind of a... Looks like he's searching for something. What it is, we'll probably never know. Volpix in the forest there. We have Galarian Lanoon looking like a little bit of Godzilla there. Just looks absolutely massive. A full heal. <laughs> Carvana just caught in a terrible storm. And what are we going to end off with? Nice. <laughs> very, very nice. Duralon V. What a great way to end it with another ultra rare. I'll take it. All right. Um, yeah, let me sleeve that up real quick. Awesome. All right, so yeah, not too bad. Definitely got some great pulls here. And uh, yeah, got those really amazing energies. So before we get into the recap, let me give away these codes. So here we go, now I'm back on track. Here we go. Bunch of Champions Path codes. Best of luck to whoever gets these. Hopefully it's more than one person. Okay, let's get into this recap here. So of course, there's a hollow in every pack unless you pull something higher, but I really, really like the hollows that they picked for this. Very, very nice selection there. We got these absolutely beautiful reverse hollow energies. Again, I'm really, really glad that I pulled these and uh, I think I'm only missing one or two more of these. So I'll have to look in the binder and uh, maybe I'll post something on Instagram, but very, very nice there. And of course, the stars of the show here. We got that Dreadnought V, absolutely amazing. I can't wait to pull its rainbow rare form. I think it's gonna look absolutely sick. We have Duralon V as the the next ultra rare here again absolutely amazing card and last but definitely not least the absolutely beautiful gardevoir v max there can't wait to see this in its rainbow rare form it's going to be absolutely sick but that's going to do it for today's video hopefully you guys enjoyed this opening and this is a great way to end the week um yeah again if you haven't uh considered subscribing to the channel yet hopefully this is the reason why uh but yeah stay tuned we have another exciting week coming up uh, and for those of you that uh, celebrate Thanksgiving here in the U.S., uh, happy Thanksgiving. I know it's coming up this week, and I'll probably mention it again. Uh, just 
it's it's a good time of year to remember what you're thankful for and the people that are nice and good to you. Uh, so yeah, I'm standoff with that. I'm Wacko Wacko. Take it easy.